Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm sharing a sympathy card or a support card using watercolor and a spotlight look to it and it's more of a mixed media style. I'm using watercolor paper with stamping with water, waterproof ink and I'm gonna use watercolor brushes for this or watercolor pens. Also I'm using Masking Magic. Um, I have a pre die cut circle that I used in the past that I wanted to reuse for this project and I did but I wish I had used I and I recommend using a new piece of masking if you're going to use if you're going to if you're going to use anything liquid like watercolor because mine seeped through a little bit to the back but I went with it because this is a mixed media style look anyway but you may want to use a fresh piece of masking to cover up um, or make the shape that you want for your spotlight. Now I added water with a clear brush or a plain clean brush first in clear water and then I went in with color and just dabbed some color right in there. In this case it's green. You see this um, watercolor is very very vibrant so you don't need much and I like to either use a palette to lay to to put my color out or just dab lightly the color right into the water onto the watercolor paper. So this time I'm just uh, going directly onto the paper into the water area that I laid down first. Then you move to the next section. I recommend just sections at a time with this technique. And you know, you lay down some more water. The colors will blend where they meet and that's for me that was fine because this is a background and so I didn't want any kind of a sharp defined look for the colors so I didn't mind them bleeding into each other so I just with these markers you just with these pens you squeeze and then a little bit will come out and you really only need a little bit with these pens and then um, to make it move I added some more water blended it around a little bit and I do that all the way around and into that green and then I bring up some more green. It's however you like it really. I just wanted a more of a flow of the color. Now you can see there's some seepage in, into that masking area and um, you'll see what it looks like in the end. Actually I like it. It looked, it looked cool for the uh, mixed media look that I was going for. And I apologize, they're doing some lawn service out here and uh, you hear the lawnmower in the background. Just ignore it. <laughs> uh, so now I'm going to go ahead. So I did water there in that pass there and at the top. And then I'm just using a little water to dilute that bottom part a little bit. And then this blue, you'll see it comes out a lot. And just go ahead and dab it at the top there just a little bit. I'm going to use my brush to blend that out. See how vibrant that is? It's, it's amazing. And then you go ahead and then you just dab. You really don't even need to add a little bit more water, but I did. And then um, have a paper towel there that you can use to take off color if you have too much or water. And then you move that around. And then I'm going to blend that some more. I blend it out on the top and then um, I go around and then I blend out the bottom. Now you can leave the white space if you want to. I kind of like leaving the white space, but because I'm gonna have a white border, I went ahead and just smooth that out so there's color all the way around. Then you clean your work area. I have a glass mat, so it cleans real easily with some water and a paper towel and it cleans all that up. And you heat set it with a heat tool as best you can, or you can leave it to dry. And you take off that mask and you see <laughs> the color just magically appeared where it needed to with the stamping but you know that's just um that is just a stroke of luck but you can also add some more color in that center area when you're finished with the mask and then you add some i added some splatters and you see this time i added some color right to the palette tray um, and i like that also it controls the color the amount of color that comes out of those pins and then I use that palette to make the splatters I have this red red film for white foam tape that's very thin foam tape I like it because it's easy to mail things without it costing a fortune and so um, I use that there you go I hope you like it thanks so much for watching please take a minute to subscribe have a wonderful day